So hi, so it's Ken. Uh, welcome again to my garden in uh, Nottinghamshire, Kirby and Ashfield, Nottinghamshire. So today we're going to do another set of Qigong. We're going to do the... Well, it's Chen style Qigong, but it's... Oh, they don't like... Chen style uh, Tai Chi people don't like to call it Qigong, they call it warm-up. This has been tweaked and changed by uh, uh, an upstart of a student. I think he was kicked out of his uh, his school of, of Chen style for uh, messing with these, for daring to, to think outside of the box. And he changed these. And I, I really like the way he's been changed. I learned these from a teacher, uh, an, an English uh, uh, master teacher who now lives in uh, in France and teaches out in France. So I learned these in a place called Temple del Sol, uh, beautiful uh, riverside uh, retreat in the French countryside. But anyway, let's get into it. So. Uh, go through your checklist, so head as if it is suspended from above, imagine you have that long ponytail on the top of the head tied up to the to the rafters, uh, ears feel like being pulled back, jaw parallel to the floor, chin tucked in, uh, lifting feeling of the head, tongue on the roof of the mouth, lips and teeth are lightly together, when your arms are close to the body keep a small gap underneath each armpit as if you're cradling a small bird's egg underneath there without crushing or dropping the eggs, arms at the side of the body with these feelings. Sink the chest to round the upper back. Sink the ribs to fill the lower back. Pelvic area is tilted forwards. Feels like it's hanging down from our suspension from above. Feet flat on the floor uh, for the moment. Uh, dividing each foot into two triangles. You have those two triangles. The triangle from ankle to the heel to the balls of the feet from the ankle to the balls of the feet to the toes. We're going to be working with the, the plantar fascia, the connective tissue that runs along the soles of your feet. Uh, we're going to uh, be coordinating the movements of the body with the movements of the breath. So let's quickly go through the breathing. I won't go into too much detail, detail here because we have worked on this quite extensively in uh, in previous films. So breathing in. Hand on the belly rises with the in-breath. Breathing out, it falls on the out-breath. We don't want the chest rising and falling. We definitely don't want the shoulders rising and falling on the breath. Make sure you're not hollowing the chest to keep it down. You might get it ever such a slight rising and falling. Hand on the belly rises. And you want the hand... Or you want the back to rise as well. So place the hand off your chest. Or take the hand off your chest and place it onto your lower back. Just the back of the hand. Breathing in. Hand on the belly and now the hand on the back rise with the in breath. Breathing out the hand on the belly, the hand on the back fall with the out breath. The hand on the back doesn't rise as much as the hand on the belly, but you want to feel the hand ever so slightly rising and falling with the breath. You're breathing into this whole area, so you're doing nice deep diaphragmic breaths. Nice deep di diaphragmic breath. We're going to uh, try and uh, coordinate or get the, the diaphragm working with the pelvic floor, the pelvic bowl, to really get our movements coming from our centre, coming from the area about three fingers below the belly button and in the centre of the body. But let's get into it now. So you want to step out into a into a horse riding stance. Uh, chen star people, they tend to do it uh, really, really low down here. You can do it down low down here. Make sure you're uh, maintaining all those principles we just went through there. Make sure you're not flaring out ribs or curving in the lower back, or leaning forwards or leaning back. Make sure the knees aren't collapsing in. But I'm going to do it up here, the mid-range horse riding stance. So we're going to connect, we're going to work on the harmonies inside the body, the harmony between the, the hands, the feet, the knees, the elbows, the hips, the shoulders. We're going to do the hands to start off with. So you can mirror me here. I'm going to use my, I'm going to use my, my right hand, but you can use your left hand. In Tai Chi, or at least the styles of Tai Chi that I practice, we tend to start with the, the left side first. Anyway, so connecting your, your, your hand with the, the foot on the opposite side of the body, the wrist with the ankle on the opposite side of the body. You just circle you can place the other hand into the lower back, onto the Hmong Men point, that gate of your fate on your lower back. And connecting the wrist with the ankle. So really, you're not just doing this, you're sinking down, pushing out, compressing the body against the ground, rolling from the heel towards the toe and pumping your wrist around. You can put the breath with this, so you can breathe in and breathe out, in and out, relaxing the hips, sending the wrist around, feeling the strength of the earth behind the movement of your, your hand and your wrist. One way and the other way. And again, I don't tend to count the amount of repetitions I do. I just do them until they feel right. But if you do like to count, you find order in having uh, an equal amount of repetitions, then multiples of three are good. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirty-six. Again, I just do them until they feel right. I did when I first started doing all this stuff. I did religiously uh, stick to the exact same amount of numbers of each of each movement, but not so much now. Change hands. Stuck in the wrist, connecting your wrist with the ankle on the opposite side of the body. Sinking down, compressing, rolling from the heel towards the toe, activating that pump. Plantar face plantar fussy. Sinking down, relaxing the hips. 
You put the breath of this, you can breathe in, and breathe out. One way, and the other way. Pushing around, feeling the strength of the earth in this moment. Both wrists. Do both wrists. Sending them around. Coming up from the ground. Pumping up one way. But we're going to move on to the next one. A little bit wide here, you don't have to go wide. We're going to connect an arm. Again, I'm using my right arm. You can mirror me and use your left arm. Okay, we're going to connect the forearm with the lower half of the leg on the opposite side of the So turn and again, you can place the other hand in the back. Your arm is straight but not locked out. Turn. Breathing again. Really make sure you're relaxing the hips. Relaxing the hips. You're not just tensing the hip flexor muscles against the hips to get this movement. You're floating across this area of the core, the quad, the energy gate across the heads of the thigh bones and the pelvic floor. So ready? Engaging the, the pelvic floor or the pelvic bowl, those 16 muscles that hold all the internal organs in connected to the pubic bone, the uh, sitting bones, and to the sacral lat joint. Engaging the pelvic floor, but not excessively tensing that area. Around. Palm faces up when it passes at head height, faces down as it passes at groin height. Breathing in, breathing out, sinking down. Connecting, compressing the body against the ground. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. One way. And the other way. This move is often called scattering the petals. Very much like the move in uh, Tai Chi forms or Park Wild Horse's Mane. Diagonal flying. In Shaman Ching style Tai Chi, this is very much like this, a stag exercise. So really feel the whole body behind uh, your arm like it's the antler of a stag. So it's not just arm, it's the whole body behind it. But you could move something. Breathing in. Breathing out. Change arm. And the arms straight but not locked out, not bent either. Connecting the forearm with the lower half of the opposite leg. Make sure the knees aren't collapsing in, sinking down. Run from the heel towards the toes to get that pump. Keep your jaw parallel to the floor, keep your nose in line with your belly button. And following your hand with your eyes. Breathing in and breathing out, or breathing out and breathing in. Change direction. And pressing down again. Hot wild horses me. Diagonal flight. Stag. It's often called scattering the petals as well, this one. Like you're scattering petals, or like you're scattering seeds in the spring. So you're not just dropping them, you're skimming them out. Like you're skimming them for a bit. You don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing it here. You can do it slower. Pretty much the rule of thumb in Qigong are the slower you do it, the more of a meditative, relaxing, calming. Uh, you kind of. They have that sort of effect on the side of the body. The quicker you do it, the more invigorating it is. Sink the chest, round the back, sink the ribs to fill the leather. Breathing into one side, breathing out to the other side. Turning it. Pumping up, feel the strength of the earth behind this movement. So you feel your body compressing against the ground, feel yourself pushing against the ground, and feel the, the world pushing back. And you channel that pushing back up through the body, control it with the waist, issue it with the spine, and you send it out through the fingers. And go the other way, we do it this way. We'll do it again if we, if we do. Palm 
when the palm passes when the palm passes by your uh, head height, palm faces up, and the hand passes at groin height, the palm faces down. Really focus on what you're doing here. Don't let your mind wander away from what you're doing. If you do notice your mind has wandered away into uh, random thoughts of oh, random things, anything apart from what you're doing here, just tell yourself, I'm not doing that now. I'm not thinking that now. I'm, I'm doing this. Really connecting my mind, my intent, my focus into the coordination and the movements of my body. Change. Still palms face up as they pass it. Head high, the palms face down as they pass it quietly. Turn in the list. Following your hands with your eyes. You can make it stretch not just arms, but whole body is being engaged. In the previous film, we did a move very much like this called uh, Turning the Universe. Turning the center of your gravity, the center of your universe, over to the side. One way, and the other way. Arms just following the movement of your waist, the movements of your waist, and the rest of the body. Skinning the petals, the seeds. Okay, so try not to think too much. You're going to keep the same arm movements going. But both arms are going to come in at the same time, both arms go out at the same time. Again, try not to think too much. When you think too much, and the cool side of the brain kicks in, and the coordination goes to pop. So don't think, feel. Let the creative side of the mind take over, or the creative side of the brain take over. Try not to think too much here. When you think and analyse too much, that analytical side of the brain kicks in, and the coordination goes to pop. That Analysis tends to be of something that has already happened or anticipating something that is going to happen. So, be in this moment. Coordinating, very much like a white crane spreads its wings from a touchy force. Uh, again, that's done in a different stance. Breathing in and breathing out, or breathing out and breathing in. For the strength of the earth, so pushing against the earth, for the earth pushing back, you're channeling that push, that strength up through the body, controlling it in ways, issuing with the spine, and sending it out to the fingertips. One way and the other. You can relax in the hips, make sure it's not just coming from the hips, this movement. You're engaging all the muscles there, but you are just tensing those muscles, not grinding them. When you tense all the muscles against the hips, it limits the range of movement in, in those rotator cuffs. And the hips should have a very wide range of movement. Okay? Just the forearms. Uh, and the elbow and, the, and the, the wrists and the hands. So let's get to the elbow. So make your, I'm going to do my right hand. You can mirror me so you can do, start with your left. Make the hand into a fist and rest it into this hollow underneath the collarbone, the shoulders and nest. So a little hollow underneath the collarbone. Then I'm just start to circle your elbow. And you're connecting your elbow with the knee on the opposite side of the body. So you're making this harmony. Sinking down, compressing, rolling heel to toe and pushing out. Again, you can place the other hand into your lower back or just let it relax down by your side. Compressing, pushing out. Martial arts, called these needles. Elbows are <laughs> needles. <laughs> Do a lot of damage, very sharp. In Tai Chi, uh, one of the eight powers. The eight powers are Pung Lu Jian, Tai Lia, Jiu Kao. So, ward off, roll back, press, push, or squeeze. Pluck, split, elbow, and shoulder, or bump. This is elbow, whole body behind the movement. Breathing in and breathing out. Head as if suspended from above. Tongue the roof of mouth, sink the chest, round the back, sink the ribs, fill the lower back, pelvic carriers, tilt forwards, hanging down. Sinking down, pushing out one way and the other way. Pushing out. So again, get the whole body behind the movement. Oh. Breathing in and breathing out. Feel the harmony, the cross connection between the knee and the elbow. One, so make the hand into a fist. It's the shoulders nest, circle. Harmonizing the, the elbow with the knee on the opposite side of the body. It's cross connection. Everything connected with your waist, the center of gravity, and the whole body, the strength of the earth behind this elbow. It's... Breathing 
here. I'm going to pump in the sole of the foot, so I'm taking the connective tissue along the sole of the foot. This is the face here that people get that uh, plant here, plantar fasciitis. One way uh, and the other way. Make sure the ribs aren't flaring out here, the lower back isn't curving in. Body behind. <laughs> Looking to both elbows, so pushing up for the strength of the earth behind the movement, make sure the ribs aren't flaring out. Pushing against the world, feel it pushing back, and you channel it up through the body and out to the elbows. One way, and the other way. You can do the cross connection. So to all kinds of combinations. So to the shoulders. So I'm going to sink. I'm going to do my left shoulder, my right, sh my right shoulder first. I'm going to sink down to my left leg. You can mirror me to so sink down to your right leg and work the, the left shoulder. Push the shoulder forwards and up. And then push the shoulder back and down. Breathing in forwards and up. Breathing out back and down. So you're harmonising the the hip with opposite shoulder or the shoulder on the opposite side of the body. Pushing up and round. Breathing in, breathing out. The shoulders are one of the places where, where I've noticed I've been teaching for many, many years now. Thousands of students, tens of thousands. And I've noticed that one of the places where people tend to hold onto a lot of stress is in the shoulders. So as physical tension, the stress manifests in itself as physical tension in the shoulders. Often people walk into my sessions uh, like Frankenstein's monster, shoulders up to their ears, like they're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders one way. The other way, so we spend a lot of time loosening up the shoulders. It won't eradicate the stresses, but it will help with the, the physical manifestation that they have in the body. The mind, yeah, the thinking has a, a real effect on the body. Is the nervous system not knowing the difference between imaginary and real? So imagine all kinds of, we have all kinds of fears, imagine all kinds of things can happen and manifest themselves as tension inside the body, tension ready to respond to those stresses and worries that we're, we're thinking are going to happen to us, those anxieties. Change. Drop the light onto the other leg, send the shoulder around. Breathing in and breathing out. Watch your knee, your knee alignment, make sure it's not collapsing in. Pushing the shoulder around, make sure the ribs aren't flaring out. Breathing in and breathing out. Pumping, pushing against the world. Feel the world pushing back and channel up through the body and send out to the shoulder. Breathing in and out one way. Slim it around. Putting in and bring out. Put it into both shoulders. Pushing both shoulders around. Pushing up from the ground. Make sure the ribs aren't flaring out. The lower back isn't isn't curving in. Pushing up. One way. Harmonising, cross-connecting the hips, engaging those uh, bands of connective tissue that cr crisscross the front of the body, front and the back of the body, from the hip to the shoulder, the functional lines one way and the other way. Really giving the lungs a nice massage, a nice workout here, really relaxing that that point in between the shoulder blades, from the, the jaitia, the spirit hip, it's pronounced the jaitia, spirit hip. Both shoulders down, turn the waist one forward, one back. Both shoulders up, turn the waist one forward, one back. Both shoulders up at the same time. Both shoulders down at the same time. Pushing up to the top of the head. So in previous films, we worked on the the bands, uh, the anatomy trains, the bands of connected to the, the the sides, front and the back of the body, the the lateral lines, the superficial front and back line, like the ropes on a ship's mast or the steel tension cables on a suspension bridge, one way. Way. So you're lengthening them, the front, back, sides of the body, lengthening and feel them contracting back. Feel yourself compressing the muscles against the ground, feeling them wanting to stretch back to that uncompressed place. So compressing, expanding, lengthening, contracting, harmonizing those energies. And both shoulders down, turn. Oh, we're doing that, we're already doing that. Okay, so relax. Okay, so let's put all of those together now. So stepping out into your wide horse riding stance, as wide as you want to go. I'm going to use my right arm, you can mirror me again. I'm going to sink down, connecting the wrist with the ankle, the knee with the elbow, hip with the shoulder, and the waist. 
seeking down. Seek the rope's still below. It's very much like uh, descending a in Tai Chi. Or in Bagua, uh, they call it swallow. Uh, sweeps down. Compressing. And expanding. So I've had students in the past do this with a, a tea light in the hand, a lit tea light. So if they tilt it to the side, they still hot wax on themselves. Which didn't end too well when I was doing it in a fancy dance studio and got wax on it with an expensive floor. Yeah, big bill. But suck them out. Okay, the other side. There, here. Swallow suits down, harmonizing their wrist with the ankle, elbow with the knee, hip with the shoulder, and with the waist. Spiraling, compressing them one way, the other way. Watching the alignment sinking down, pumping the foot, so you're not flaring ribs out or curving in the other. Your mind isn't wandering, it's not thinking the coordination will go to pop. Let me think, so I'm getting coordination back. sinking down to the ground. I've heard this movement called uh, the Green Dragon Serves Tea. I find this uh, set of Qigong very uh, Bagua-like. I don't really practice Bagua nowadays. But I suppose I maintain a certain amount of Bagua in these, kind of, these sets of Qigong. In my Sanfong style Tai Chi. Minus the, the circle. Okay. Rubbing your, rubbing your hands. So this should be warmer than they were when you started. Yeah, that could be a manifestation of the chi energy or just uh, increased circulation. So we're going to do the washing now. I should have said this uh, at the start. Did I say at the start? Anyway, we should have, should have told you to wash your hands. If you're, we're going to wash our face, we're going to rub our face. So if you're, uh, you need to, you can pause this film now and go and, and wash your hands. Then touch the middle fingers to the side of the mouth. Middle fingers run up the inside of the mouth. The mouth. Middle fingers run up the inside of the nose. Palms run over the cheeks, the eyes, the brow. Crown the ears and jaw, face, eyes, brow, crown. If you don't mind messing, messing the hair up, ears and jaw. You're giving yourself an energy wash here. Also, pushing that the lymph, the blood and lymph that's been brought to the surface brings with it toxins. Now you're just pushing those toxins from the surface of the skin down to those submandibular lymph nodes in the throat. Give the neck a good rub. I feel like you're rubbing in a magic cream here, magic liniment, magic ointment. Rub as hard as this comfortable for you. It's self massage as well. Rub the shoulder. Just rubbing in that magic cream, that magic liniment, magic ointment. They can really do imagine that. The better you can imagine it, the more the nervous system will instruct the body. It's kind of like the placebo effect. Think positive thoughts. Think things are going to happen. You positive things. Then you kind of manifest them in your life. Rub the belly. Uh, yeah, that's not a brilliant explanation, but kind of that's it. Positive thoughts. 
negative thoughts can have a very real detrimental effect on your body. Up and down. All the way around. The lower back. Let's keep me up here. And do the inguinal crease, the buttocks, the thighs, and so on. Now down the ilio tibial trap here. And the knees are a warm, loving, positive energy dreams. Love you, and you can yourself. Shins and arms. Ankles. Knees. Ankles if you hit them. And then we can cut the hands, make balls out of hands, and we can start that. Cutting, not slapping, cutting. Sound like a it sound like a trucking horse, not like a headmaster's office in a monkey voice. Patting down these really good tracks here. Buttocks, lower back, belly, shoulders, on the inside of the arm, outside of the arm, outside of the arm, inside of the arm, neck, face. <sighs> okay, so that's the the Chen style. Uh, Qigong that's been tweaked. I can't remember the, the name of the teacher that tweaked it, but apparently it didn't uh, go down very well with his with his, uh, with his seniors. He got kicked out of his organization. Okay, so that's Qigong. So practice it or don't. Make sure you are doing something in the current climate, what's happening in the world. Make sure you're not just sitting around watching TV all day. Get up in between films and uh, do some movements, some gentle movements. Get your circulation going. And again, I'm just starting to walk up here, so I will finish here, so I will say goodbye for now.